It was a little bit different because us not having our own space and having like seven days to be in the space and having to put it together, I think is, well, not even that, like six days before you open. So COVID and not having your own space equal major, major stress. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Sits Probe is like where we get the, uh, the actors to kind of come in and we play our music while they sing and it's kind of the first time we get to put together like their singing their vocals with like the actual music. So the orchestra was really really cool and it was my first time working with a big orchestra and it, we had like a mix of professional people and students and they watch the actors to see like when we, when we start and like to see all the cues. So the dogs. The two dogs are Ricky and Myrtle. Ricky plays Bruiser, which is my dog, and Myrtle plays Rufus, which is Paulette's dog. I do. I get to work with little Ricky. He's he's really funny. He like fish jumps. You'll see in the show. Oh and yeah. He has like a crazy vertical. I work with Myrtle. She is my Rufus, my little bulldog, um, and it's been super fun. She's super lovable, and I have loved to work with her so closely because I feel like we've really created like a cool bond. We've had dogs brought on stage, but we've never worked with professional dogs. It's like you see like animals on TV all the time and you're just like, oh, they're there, that's cool. But then like getting to know the behind the scenes of all of it and like really knowing like all the work that goes into it is like actually really interesting. The drive to HBU was very interesting every single day. It was a very weird area going over there and it was the longest drive from Stratford and so hauling all of the instruments over there was difficult. We had to like take like three trips and getting everything on there was was a time. It was a time. There were crew people at all hours of the day just there and th like until like midnight. It took multiple days to get that done and it led to us having to push back opening night. I like to say that the cast tells the story but the crew brings it to life because it's the sets, it's the lighting, it's the costumes and the hair and makeup and the props that all bring the story to life. And Julia Walker and Emily Kanza were the costumes heads and they absolutely killed it. We help design, create, and put together costumes. The student director creates a cast map for us that kind of just tells us who is who in each scene. So then we create a costume plot of what they're wearing in each scene and if the scenes they're wearing something completely different in the next scene. We also run just about every change that has to happen. Uh, we call them quick changes because they tend to be pretty quick. Uh, a lot of Our quick changes. Are gonna be busy. How many of those are L's? Of uh, like 10 or 12. Oh goodness. Around January like 16th, COVID started like getting kind of scary. I am Nick Rue and I played Grandmaster Chad and Nikos. So I was taken out of the show on Monday, the Monday before we opened, um, because I tested positive for COVID. And I was feeling bad, so I, I like decided to test just because I wanted myself to be safe and the rest of the cast hopefully to be safe. I was lucky to have you know Asher Rigo come in and, and fill in my position, and he already knew the part perfectly. Yeah. Um, so that was I was really fortunate to have him in that situation. I felt loved in that scenario. Yeah. I tested negative on Friday. That would be my that was my fifth day. So I decided to test on that day just to see. So I tested negative and so I was able to come back. I was backstage um, like getting a costume or something, and I just overheard someone say, Kylie rolls her ankles like I'm, I'm sorry. So I was in my character's heels for the show backstage during our run right before opening night. And the heels are about this big. <laughs> and I see my friend Carrie running. So I speed walk to meet her. And then my ankle just gives out from under me. And I fall to the ground. 
and it was a mild sprain. So I was still gonna go on, but I was gonna go on with my crutches, which I struggled with because this was not like the vision that I wanted. So I, like right before the run started, I was like, oh, my foot, it's feeling better in the boot. <laughs> so I ditched the crutches, did the entire run up until probably the middle of act two. And then my foot starts like throbbing in pain. And I'm like, uh-oh. They were like, honestly, I would not want you on stage at all. And I was like, okay. Cause like, what can I do, you know? Mm -hmm. So I told Davidson and that's that's basically it. They were like, well, I'm sorry that she can't be in I know she's worked so hard. And I was like, it's okay. We'll just support from the sidelines. So every night you did what to go on stage? I watched the parent preview night just to watch it from an audience perspective. And um, I sang in the wings and I hung out backstage every night after that until closing. Okay. Um, everyone was super sweet to me and I received flowers from like my friends' families and everyone was coming up to me and they're like, it's okay, we know, we, we know you would have done amazing. And they're like, you're so strong for this, yada, yada, yada. And I really appreciated those words because these are coming from people who like I have been close with for years and people who I've never spoken to a day in my life. So that really made me feel loved and supported. And then sweet little Haley Ash came to save the day. She just swung in for Kylie. She had a, a day. And then her first run through was the parent parent preview. And girls Lee dressing room consisted of Ab me, um, Elle, Abigail Scott, who played Brooke Winsum, Leah Hollowine, who played Vivian, and Carrie Witten, who played Paulette. And we all have very hard roles. They're very vocally taxing, and um, we're all in most of the show. And it was very relaxing to be in there. It was very quiet. We didn't have any music going. And then the total opposite of that was the boys' ensemble dressing room. Steve. Love you. Love you. Guys, that was the Tommy Tune show, and it was the best one we've ever had. <laughs> Something that I love about being an actor is that you, the small bit of you, no matter like what acting technique you use, you absorb a tiny bit of the character, and it just like carries with you. I feel like she is still part of me and I'm still part of her, and I still have mementos of the show and that just carry with me, and I know that Elle Woods is not like just a character anymore, it's just a way of thinking. So to the show, the cast, the crew, the management, um, thank you so much for the experience. Thank you for letting me be your Elle. Being Elle was the greatest joy that I have ever had, and doing it with all of, with all of y'all just was the cherry on top and y'all made every single dream I had of this role come true, so.